everybody! This is the second part of my ketogenic dinner. So, if you want to see the appetizer and the main dish, just go to the video that I posted last Monday. This Monday you will see the side dish and the dessert. So, keep watching and subscribe to my keto channel. Warming some olive oil with salty butter is always a great low-carb, high-fat start. So a little more butter is even better. Now I add some of the garlic that I chopped for the green sauce. Here I will put you a link to my previous video where you can see how to prepare this delicious sauce. As I told you before, garlic has some carbs, so keep an eye on the quantities. Now let's add our true side dish, mushrooms. After browning them for a few seconds, put your heat at medium power and put the lid on your pan. In this way, the steam will cook also the mushrooms on top and we'll have time to prepare the rest of this recipe. As usual, I don't prepare anything complicated and the only thing we have to do now is cutting some fresh parsley. This ingredient is very important because thanks to it our mushrooms will match perfectly with the lamb chops with green sauce that is the main dish. At the end of this video and in the description below you will find the link to that recipe. It's time to add some salt and to put the heat high, so all the water released by the mushrooms will evaporate. As you can see, I'm not scared of salt, because by eliminating processed foods that contain a lot of sodium, we can enjoy very tasty dishes and salt will help us stay hydrated and will keep our energy up. Actually, eating salt is the best way to beat the keto flu. Our mushrooms are ready. They smell and look great, so we must find the perfect serving dish. As you know, we are in a rented home in San Francisco, where we'll stay for just four days. But this kitchen is very well equipped, so here's the plate. Fresh parsley on top is the final touch and now it's time to take the perfect pick of this beautiful dish and to start preparing the dessert. You will need 100 grams of unsalted butter, 100 grams of 90% dark chocolate and two eggs. To melt the ingredients I used the technique of hot water bath, also called ben marie or in Italian bagno maria, but you can use also the microwave. Here I had to use the slow motion to show you what happens when you have just two hands but you need three. I was definitely not used to cook while filming, but I'm so lucky that my son Umberto is here to borrow me a hand. YouTubers struggles. We'll use the hot water bath to melt the chocolate together with the butter, because this technique gives us a uniform heat around the food. You can apply this old way of cooking both using the fire or the oven and you just need a bigger pot or baking plate for the boiling water and a smaller one but heating resistant for your food. Mm -hmm. 
this is totally worth it even just to enjoy the smell of the melting chocolate it takes a few minutes and you will be surprised by the amazing result but now it's time to add the butter and to prepare the eggs I highly recommend you to open your eggs in a separate bowl before adding them to your mix so if a little piece of shell will fall together with the eggs you won't lose it inside the chocolate Eggs are a great source of nutrients, they are used without restriction by all the keto community and in Italy we also eat them raw. But I know that many of you don't, so even if we'll enjoy this delicious dessert without cooking it, you can bake it at 200 degrees Celsius, about 400 Fahrenheit for 20 minutes and you will not have a creamy mousse like us but a yummy brownie I will tell you the story of Emma Morano a cute Italian lady that died a couple of years ago at the age of 117 years old. She said that the secret of her longevity was eating three eggs per day, two raw in the morning and one omelette later. She started when she was 20, after the first world war, because she was diagnosed with anemia, low iron. This dietary suggestion that she got from her doctor worked quite well. Now the last touch for our keto dinner, that is whipping heavy cream. This fluffy deliciousness will be perfect both with the chocolate dessert and with your final coffee. Always choose the brand higher in fat and lower in carbs, because this is definitely an enjoyable LCHF diet, that means low carbs, high fat. So embrace it and have fun with it! Now a quick reminder of our entire menu. Number one, appetizer, skewers made with tomatoes, mozzarella cheese and basil. Number two, main dish, lamb chops with green sauce. Number three, side dish, sauteed mushrooms. Number four, dessert, chocolate mousse or brownie if you bake it with whipped cream. Buon appetito and if you like, come with us to Pier 39 for a great surprise. So keep watching!